I've read from Saul Canelo Alvarez, man, that he has said that, man, hey, the Bud Crawford fight is not off the table. In fact, he insists that it could happen next. And so I think this is cool. Uh, this fight is intriguing, but um, I don't know, man. I, I think I think Canelo wins this fight um, simply because. <laughs> If I tell you I'm good, probably you will say I'm boasting. But if I tell you I'm no good, you know one line. <laughs> Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Dr. PGNG. I'm praise God to get money back for another YouTube video. Banger, man. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. I don't know what time it is. The doctor's in the house, man. Check this out. So earlier today, man, I read uh, I read from Saul Canelo Alvarez, man, that he has said that, man, hey, the Bud Crawford fight is not off the table. In fact, he insists that it could happen next, man. Insists. And that's crazy, you know. So, um, and you know, a lot of people will think this is a complete 180 because it's you know, the comic, the, the, the general consensus from the boxing world and the boxing landscape is that, you know, he was reluctant to have the fight with Terrence Crawford because he asked for a large amount of money. And then when it seemed like Big Turk was really was, was ready to offer him that, that requested amount of money, he was reluctant to engage in conversations. Well, I told people to slow down, man. You know, he has a fight coming up with Edgar Berlanga. There's nothing wrong with wanting to focus on your fight. And so that's what I thought he was doing. You know what I'm saying? Now, I wasn't sure that the fight was going to happen and he was going to entertain it. But now he's saying, yeah, man, hey, I'm doubling back. Don't, do not take that fight off the table. You you know that could very much, uh, um, um, uh, very much well happen next. And uh, let me go inside because it's still wet out here. It just got done raining. I want to sit down and have this talk. You know what I'm saying? Um, but yeah, don't don't be surprised if that fight happens next. So apparently, according to uh, 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 Old Cinnamon, you know he had an interview and he's like, yeah, man, don't 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 take that off the table, man. That fight could still happen with me and Terrence Bud Crawford, and I, that might come to a surprise for a few of, of of some, but um. But for, but for others, you'd be like, yeah, man, you kind of could see this coming, right? And so I think this is cool. Uh, this fight is intriguing, but um, I don't know, man. I, I think I think Canelo wins this fight um, simply because, you know, it's not only the size, but there is a size difference. You know, it's a, it's a, it's a significant size difference. And But I want to say that I think this it's intriguing, and we think it's intriguing uh, for those of us that do. is The reason why is because of, of Bud's greatness, right? Bud is a phenomenal talent, you know what I'm saying, an all-time great for sure, and he's chasing greatness. And we we're intrigued to see how, how well he can perform under under, under these uh, circumstances, right, being the much smaller guy. Um, you know, he, he's undisputed at 140, undisputed at 147, just moved up for his debut at 154, and he, and he, and he achieved – he. He obtained the title, you know what I'm saying, from Israel Majumov, another undefeated fighter at 154. And that was his first fight, you know. So you can still kind of consider him a 147-pounder. And just to think that he could even challenge somebody that's not at 154, not at 160, but undisputed at 168 and Saul Canelo Alvarez, an all-time great himself, um, that's a testament to Bud's greatness, the fact that we are even intrigued. Because I wouldn't think that another welterweight would be able to fight uh, Canelo Alvarez and not get blown out the water. Wait a minute. Wait, wait a minute. Hold, wait, first of all, you're not gonna speed past that like you didn't just say what you just said. Open it up so that you might land a big shot on him. He's so much under control. Look at the way he makes out. He's making him look like an amateur. You dumbass. So when I say that I have Canelo, I'm not disrespecting Bud. In fact, the reason, the fact that I'm intrigued is intrigued at all is a testament to his greatness. But I do think that Canelo, you know, some people underestimate, underestimate his skill, man. You know, he is a, um, he is an undisputed on 168. He's just not a normal guy, you know. And while while I could argue that Terrence Crawford might be slightly more skilled, just slightly, um, that difference between their skill in my opinion, is not enough to supplement or, or even supplant the disparity between uh, um, um, their size differential. And I know some of you will be like, oh, wait, size? They're the same size. They're the same height. They're both 5'8". Wrong. Wrong. Case in point, bro. Just because somebody's the same height in one dimension does not mean they're the same size. Size is measured in length, height, and width. It's a three-dimensional uh, 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 thing, man. And, and 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 to even further prove that point, I'm gonna ask you a question: What's the what's the largest or the biggest land animal? Uh, uh, <laughs> 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 Nobody says a giraffe. Well, the giraffe is the tallest land animal, but we know that mass is also important. Weight is also important. That's why the the, the elephant who's shorter than, the, than the giraffe is still considered the largest or the biggest land animal and not the giraffe. Because yes, the giraffe is taller, but what has more mass? What's more sturdy? That, that, that's, 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 the, that's the 
uh, elephant without question. So yes, Terrence Crawford and, 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 and um, Canelo are the same height, but when it comes to total mass and how much you have in you, what do you mean by that? <laughs> uh, he, there's, there's no, it's not even close. Uh, Canelo is the one that's been to 175. He's been all the way to light heavyweight. So I think that matters when you're talking about guys that are close in skill level. And I think that, you know, also too, the way that Terrence Crawford fights. Terrence Crawford, you know, people say, oh, well, Canelo lost to Floyd Mayweather. Well, Terrence Crawford is great. Floyd is great. Canelo's great. Canelo's not the same Canelo that Floyd fought. And Floyd and Terrence Crawford do not have the same fighting style. So that's like saying that, you know, that that's, that, that, that's just that's just crazy. Anybody who anybody who uh, who thinks that is just doing completely. Uh, it's a ridiculous assessment and it's completely surface level and, and elementary analysis. Um, it's terrible analysis because I'm not saying that Terrence Crawford can't win. But if he beats Floyd, I mean, if he beats Canelo, it likely most likely won't be in the same fashion that Floyd did because Floyd, Floyd and, and, and Pacquiao, they both beat Ricky Hatton. Did they beat him in the same fashion? No, you know what I'm saying? So like to, to say that t- that Terrence Crawford is going to be able to do what Floyd did, I think that's crazy because we've never seen Terrence Crawford demonstrate that before. Now, he could be capable. Maybe he has that in his bag. But in 40 fights, I think we pretty much know that Terrence Crawford likes to engage. That's why we say he's a dog, right? Because when he gets hit, like when he gets hit by Gamboa, what's he do? He mans up, he hulks up, and he, he's like, all right, bet, I'm going to get that punch back. Even Errol Spence, he brutalized and demolished and destroyed Errol Spence. But Errol Spence... Didn't lose because he couldn't get to Terrence Crawford. And now Spence trying to whack Crawford. Going to the body. There we go. It's what we thought. They are going to... No, he got to him. It's just when he got to him, the impacts of his punches, the significance of his punches, the damage in, the damage from his punches was way lower than we anticipated. It was not what we thought was going to happen. So, so like, show show me a fight where Terrence Crawford doesn't get touched. He gets touched. He just wins the the the, the, the uh, exchanges, you know. And I just don't see with Canelo being hit by Kovalev, hit by Triple G, hit by Jaime Magia, and not, not seemingly, uh, he, he never seemingly gets hurt. I don't see how Bud could hurt him. Now, granted, just because you can't hurt somebody doesn't mean you can't win. Like I said, you can outpoint somebody, of course. But it, like I said, stylistically looking at Terrence Crawford's style, when have you seen him not engage? Even against Madrimov, you know, he kind of stayed away a little bit. He engaged less and so did Madrimov. But even then, they, they even got in exchanges. So what I anticipate uh, Canelo to win, but but like I said, there's no disrespect to Bud. I think Bud is a phenomenal fighter. In fact, the fact that, in fact, the whole, the, the mere thought of me and the reason why I think it's intriguing is a testament to his greatness. So anybody who sees this video of me picking Canelo and just saying, no, it's disrespectful to Bud, I think you're you're an idiot because you're not listening to what I'm saying or anybody else is saying. I'm not just saying Canelo's going to win because I'm a Canelo fanboy, boy, or I'm not just saying uh, Terrence Crawford's going to win because I'm a Terrence Crawford fanboy. No, I'm actually giving you analysis, so you got to you gotta uh, uh, acknowledge that as well. Or you, I mean, you don't have to. You can, you can, you can sit there in your, in, in, in your dumbness. That's fine with me too. But uh, <laughs> yeah, so I think that um, this fight is... It could happen next. I know he's saying it, it don't 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 um don't disregard it. But does it happen next? Do I think it happened next? I'm not gonna lie, man. I think you know Canelo is 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 the face of boxing. He he could do what he wants, and if he wants this fight to happen, we know Terrence Crawford wants it. So I I could very much well see this fight happening next, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think about that. Let me know if you think it happens next. Do you who do you think wins? Do you think Terrence Bud Crawford wins? Do you think uh Cole, Saul Canelo Alvarez wins? Do you think that I'm disrespecting Bud? Do you think I'm disrespecting Cinnamon? I don't, I don't know. <laughs> People think whatever they want, but I think Cinnamon wins this fight. And um, I think it's a good fight, though. I think it's a good fight while it lasts. And, and I think Cinnamon wins. because And Cinnamon can't. He cannot underestimate Bud either because Bud, Bud, is, Bud is a serious, uh, capable fighter, man. So I appreciate y'all rocking me as always. Most importantly, remember, with God, we can do anything without God. We're in nothing. The doctor's out. Peace. From the hood to college, both worlds they had to meet. Six degrees between us, so cold we're about to freeze. But we're Florida boys, hot takes, we bring the heat. We're moving the culture, the engineers to the streets.